Tonight, those long-awaited recommendations for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson booster shots, along with guidance for Americans considering mixing and matching boosters. For people who got the Moderna vaccine, a CDC panel today voting unanimously to recommend a booster shot at least six months after vaccination for people over 65 and any adult whose health or work puts them at higher risk. And for the 15 million Johnson & Johnson recipients, a second dose recommended at least two months after vaccination for any anyone over 18. The panel also allowing Americans to have flexibility to choose a different vaccine brand for a booster. Well, I think we've gotten more clarity because it's leveling the playing field across all three vaccines. Now there's an openness to boosting no matter what vaccine you got, but there's still some confusion. The recommendations raising questions for people who got the Johnson & Johnson shot after a limited study suggested they might benefit more from an mRNA booster, meaning Pfizer or Moderna. For those given an extra J&J shot, antibodies rose fourfold, but a booster with Pfizer sent those antibodies up 35-fold. And with a Moderna boost, they jumped 76-fold. Still no evidence yet that mixing leads to greater long-term protection. In Chicago, Nathan Bean got the J&J one shot and experienced a breakthrough infection four months later. Night two of coronavirus. After talking with his doctor, Nathan's planning on getting a Moderna booster, saying he wants to take every precaution before seeing his mother, who is immunocompromised. I was excited to be able to get this Moderna shot. We're going to be able to celebrate Christmas and just celebrate being with each other for the first time in two and a half years. More shoppers are facing disappointment as they learn the items they're looking for are out of stock. The number of out-of-stock products has jumped 172% since before the pandemic. Clothing is currently the biggest category of out-of-stock items, followed by sporting goods, baby products, and electronics. Some states and businesses are also reporting increasing costs for the liquor industry, including some stock shortages. The supply chain crisis is largely to blame. Former President Trump is planning on launching his own social media company, Truth Social. He says it would stand up to tech companies like Facebook and Twitter after they barred him from their platforms. The new company will be listed on the NASDAQ through a merger. The news sending its stock price rocketing upward. The social network plans to fully launch in the first quarter of 2022. Great storms in the West, heavy rain, strong winds and snow from California to Washington State. Of uh, low lying areas that are prone to flooding and especially if it's not, uh, if, the, if the rain's coming down at a, at a rate that's not consistent with the tide, and then you got a high tide and a lot of rain flow at the same time. Um, some of those low lying areas are, are prone to flooding. The first storm already moving in, downing trees in Northern California, now flash flood and high wind alerts in effect through tomorrow. One storm hitting after another over the next seven days. The strongest storm they're expecting late this weekend. And tonight, NOAA now releasing its new winter projection for the country. Want captions on your movies? AMC's new open caption program is adding them to 240 AMC locations, according to a press release by the company. The move is supposed to expand the overall movie-going audience, they said, including assisting those with hearing difficulties or where English is a second language. Thousands of people in South Korea took part in a nationwide demonstration protesting for more jobs and better labor conditions. Many wearing pink jumpsuits and masks in a nod to Netflix hit Squid Game, the event organized by South Korea's largest workers union. Local authorities say the group was defying pandemic protocols and staging illegal protests. A spokesman for the union group said the restrictions were unfair since sporting events there are not restricted. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.